Let's talk about our 20s. Our 20s serve as a transformative period that shapes our future. Now our 20s represent transformation, growth, exploration, and it is a crucial period in our lives. It is the time we transition from adolescent to adulthood, which kind of sucks. And for many of us, this includes healthy habits, mindset, career, basically growing and having a successful future. Now, let me tell you this. Our 20s are going to be the most exciting, confusing, but still straightforward phase in our lives. 20s are the best because we are able to be ourselves because it's okay to fail in our 20s. But we also need to remember this phase of our lives are going to be really freaking uncomfortable. But there's a lot of room for growth, excitement, and other things. But 20s can also be the most loneliest times of our lives because most of us are sitting around with uncertainty of our futures. You know, we're all trying to navigate the next few steps of our life and figure out what our freaking purpose is. But the good thing about being in our 20s is we have so much time in our hands to change our life forever. We have so much space for growth. We have opportunities and the freedom to do whatever we want than when we were younger. And we have the time and ability and the freedom to do whatever we want right now than someone in their 30s or 40s. So we have to make sure to have the perfect 20s. I'm gonna tell you in this video how to conquer your 20s, how to ace them with A stars, how to basically be a valedictorian in your 20s. Now this series is a new series I'm starting, how to conquer your 20s. I'm gonna be talking about how to build a career in your 20s, how to build wealth in your 20s, how to date in your 20s. If you watch every single one of those videos, Honey, you will be ahead of everybody else. So make sure you watch all of these videos. So this is just part one. Part two will be posted in a few days. So don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. So let's get into this video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to set goals in your 20s because this is the most important one of all. So I'm gonna start the series with this topic, how to set goals in your 20s. Setting goals and making plans in our 20s is crucial to have a successful and fruitful future. Because as we step into the realm of adulthood, it becomes an essential to have a clear vision of what you want, of what you want your future to look like. So setting goals and having a plan will help us navigate the next few steps of our lives. It'll also help us navigate throughout the challenges and obstacles that will come in our way. So I need you to understand the importance of setting goals in your 20s. It is really important, okay? Because setting goals will allow you to have a clear direction and purpose in your 20s journey. Without goals, you will find yourself wandering around aimlessly unsure of what your purpose is or what you want to achieve. And I'm pretty sure you don't want that. Do you want to be the loser who has no clue about her life or her future? I'm pretty sure no. So you need to set specific and measurable goals in your life. So let me help you get your goals. Let me help you set your goals. Number one, having a clear vision. You need to have a clear freaking vision. Once you enter your 20s, you need to have a vision of how you want your life to look like in the next 10 years or the next five years or the next few years. It's up to you. I mean, there are so many freaking milestones in our 20s that we can achieve like graduation, your first job, moving out, buying a house, maybe getting married. But you have to decide what kind of future do you want? Do you want to have an active lifestyle? Do you want to have a rural lifestyle? Do you want to have a nomadic lifestyle? What kind of lifestyle do you want? in the next 10 years. Do you wanna be a boss woman? Do you wanna be a stay at home mom? Whatever it is, you need to have a clear vision of what you want your future to look like. So once you have a clear vision of what you want, then you can start planning, which is the next part. But I don't want you guys to be too hard on yourself. You need to remember, it doesn't matter how intentional you are about making plans and goals. You have to be willing to let go of expectations at the same time and just go with the flow sometimes. And just remember, it is okay to change your goals in the middle of your journey because as we grow our mindset changes and so will our goals things that we once wanted are no longer things that we desire and that is okay it is okay to start over but you have to be willing to enjoy every single step of it and adapt to surprises along the way you know challenges obstacles opportunities but if you're unsure of what kind of future you want you're confused it's totally fine to let me help you with that here's what you're gonna do there's plenty of time in our 20s to find our purpose to find the lifestyle that we want. But what I want you to do is, since we have so much time, we literally have 10 years in our 20s. I would recommend you to live a different lifestyle for those 10 years, one year each. 
until you figure out which one you like the best. Listen, when I first turned 20, I had no idea what I was doing with my life. All I was doing was partying, having fun. The only thing that I wanted was to be alive and wake up to see another day. That's the only thing I had in my mind. And one day I woke up, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I am ruining my life. I need to get my shit together. I packed my stuff, I moved to a whole different country, and then I got the clear vision that I needed. That's just how I did things, all right? So you need to provide yourself with a roadmap that helps you stay focused and motivated. Whether it is excelling academically, joining extracurricular activities, or building a network, goals give us something to strive for and a sense of accomplishment of what we achieve. Now, to effectively set your goals, you need to set SMART goals. Goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bond. Now, instead of setting vague goals such as, I wanna graduate university or college, you need to set goals like this. You need to be very specific. Maintain at least a 3.5 GPA each semester. That is a specific goal that will help you graduate college. Number two is breaking down larger goals into small goals and breaking them down into manageable tasks. Now, long-term goals can be literally anything, whether it's buying your first house, getting into a weight loss journey, starting a family, getting married before the age of 30. So whatever long-term goal you have going on, you have to break it down into smaller pieces. For instance, you want to look the most fittest in the next five years. Like in five years, you want to look like, I don't know, the most fittest person on this planet. So you have to break down your goals. You have to start off with first setting a monthly goal. What are your goals for every month? So if you're going through a weight loss journey, you have to set goals such as I'm going to lose two kilograms every single month. And then I'm going to start weightlifting. And then I'm going to hit, I don't know, a PR at the gym. It doesn't matter what it is. Even if it's like graduating with honors, what the hell do you have to do in order to graduate with honors? Every single semester you have to do something that other students are not doing. So you have to cut those larger goals into tiny manageable tasks and small goals and you have to make sure that you achieve them so that you will be able to reach that big goal that you have. Here's the thing, you can't reach the skies without having or taking small steps. Okay, you can't just have like a vague goal such as, oh my goodness, I'm gonna do this. It doesn't work that way. You have to have a plan. First of all, like I already mentioned, you have to have a clear vision of what you want and then you move on to the plan and then you move on to tiny tasks that'll help you receive or achieve those bigger tasks. So, recap of this video, you're gonna grow, it's okay, but you need to make everything out of your 20s. Our 20s are freaking precious. You have no freaking idea. Our 20s are the best thing ever. In our 20s, we don't have to care about a lot of things, but we have to care about a lot of things at the same time. Like I said, our 20s are so freaking confusing. I, I don't even know where to get started. Like 20s will be the most loneliest, difficult yet fun and easiest phase of your life. Your future depends on how you treat your 20s. So that is why please do not waste your 20s on bullshit. Please invest your 20s into making a better future. Okay, your 30s and your 40s will depend on it. Take my advice and conquer your 20s. So this was just part one, how to set goals in your 20s. I will be posting part two pretty quick Check the link in the description box below. The playlist will be right there. Check out my other videos about conquering your 20s. And yeah, if you have any other video ideas, please let me know in the comment section down below. And that is it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.